Jesus. And we're going to talk a little bit about, not so much about the clarinet this time, but uh, uh, performance. Um, specifically because it's a, it's a world that I've, uh, I've had a lot of practice in, uh, the, the art of performing in an audition. Um, uh, my, my world is the orchestral world, and I've had to take a lot of auditions over the course of my career, and now I have to listen to a lot of auditions, and um, I, have a, I have a lot to say. Um, so, uh, so let's say you're going to take an audition for my orchestra. Um, there are uh, some things you should do uh, ahead of time. One, you should, of course, practice a lot and come as prepared as you can be. And then um, you want to dress nicely. So this is fairly nice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dress it up a little bit for the purposes of setting a good example. Look nice. Nobody wants to see you in your tattered jeans. And uh, and then you you're going to be ushered out on stage to play an audition, oftentimes behind a screen completely anonymous, anonymous and a little bit intimidating. Um, so you want to be well warmed up and at ease when you get out on the stage. So you've done all your preparation backstage, you have found the perfect read, a read that you know will react well in a dry acoustic, but if you get out there and it's particularly reverberant, as the Sheldon Concert Hall is, that, uh, that you will also feel comfortable playing it because the last thing you want to do is get out on stage and have the first thing the committee hears you fussing with uh, be you know, finding the right read or doing anything like that. Um, it's okay to play a few notes, but I have a rule of seven. I think if you play more than seven notes before you start your audition, you're off to a bad start. So I would suggest a truncated scale or arpeggio, something like You don't need to test your read, really, because you've done that backstage. You're just getting a sense of what the hall sounds like and being comfortable. You start playing more than that, and your audition has already begun as soon as they hear that first note. So you have to be aware that the more you play, the more you're, uh, the more you're giving to them before you've even gotten a chance to play any music. The first thing you're ever likely to play in an audition is the Mozart clarinet concerto. So that's what we're really going to talk about. Um, and the last thing I ever do before I walk out on stage in an audition is play that opening note. It's a G, it's an E concert, but it's a G on the A clarinet. So I'm backstage and I'm making sure that that note's going to speak right when I want it. And I, I give the rule of seven to my students, but I don't follow it myself, I just go right out think that conveys the strongest message and gets you right into the music. And then you want to perform. You want to be thinking about the practicing that you've done, where, which we've talked about in a previous segment, which would be... You don't want to be thinking about all this work that you've put into it. You don't want to be thinking about necessarily your articulation or your legato. You just want to be able to make some music. So you make sure before you walk out on stage that you're comfortable with your opening note, and then you get out there. to my students when they start the Mozart is to pretend that if you have a copy of the Mozart Concerto at home, please open it up. There's a P written right underneath your first note, which most people assume correctly means piano, which means soft. 
I would like to pretend that that P means something else. Pretty, powerful, poignant, whatever you want it to believe. Something that doesn't tell you to play softly. You have to go out there and think about making your warmest, best sound right from the start, and then to, be, to have a singing approach to the phrase. So the last thing you want to do is which just sounds careful and uninteresting. This is what we want to hear. It takes some confidence and maybe some experience to do that. But it's just very important that you put your best face forward. You feel like you're not in an audition, but you're in a performance, and that they want to hear you make the most beautiful music that you can possibly make. I hope this has been helpful, maybe inspiring, um, and that it will lead you to do great things with your instrument. Thank you very much for joining me. See you next time. Woo! <laughs>